Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. We are so happy you have joined us. A couple of weeks ago, our federal government brought down a mini budget. And that had me thinking that it is time for a household budget review. Perhaps to revamp your spending plan or to even create one if you don't yet have one. It may seem like a drudge chore, but I can guarantee you that you will get excited when you see your spending for the year all laid out in front of you. You'll feel satisfied knowing where your money will be going. You'll be able to see at a glance how much you spend on electricity or petrol or school excursions or eating out or hairdressing. Any expense you have will be there for you to see in black and white. And that view will challenge you to trim some of those expenses you didn't realise were quite so high. Something we all need to do right now. Best of all, you are going to grin from ear to ear when you see how much you'll be able to save this year just by having a written detailed spending plan. Yes, even in 2022, a spending plan will save you money. I think we all know household spending plans will help you stay on track and make sure you have enough money each month to pay your bills and build some savings and have money for anything extra that may come up because it gives you control over your money. But some of us just need a little help to get started. So today I'm sharing the basics, the household budgeting basics. If you're an expert budgeter, you may find this a little boring and I do apologise, but we have a lot of new cheapskaters and they've come to the Cheapskates Club to learn how to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And the first lesson has to be how to create and live with a household budget, a household spending plan. So with that in mind, here are some household budgeting basics to help New cheapskaters get started, old cheapskaters do a budget review. You can use the computer to create a spreadsheet and that will hold all of your information. Or you can use one of the many free budgeting programs out there. There isn't one I recommend, especially just do a search and find one that works for you. Or you can just use Excel to create your basic spending plan. But also back it up with a paper copy. I do our spending plans in a really old-fashioned ledger book I bought from the newsagent years ago. But an exercise book or a ruled-up sheet of paper works just as well. Just be sure to have a physical backup if you do a computer-based spending plan because computers crash. Software companies go out of business. The cloud can be hacked, like we're finding out. You can lose your virtual accounts. So Keep a physical backup. I know the thought of actually putting pen to paper terrifies some people, but the thought of losing it all through a hard drive crash or some other computer disaster and not having a physical backup is more terrifying to me. Now, I will put a link below to our budget and spending plan templates and Cheapskates Club members can log in and download them. They are there for you to use, so make sure you do. The first thing on your spreadsheet would be your income. It's a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it? Now, you want to include everything you may have, such as your pay, secondary income, child support, Centrelink payments, bonuses that you get, um, other forms of income that may only come sporadically or once a year, like tax refunds or birthday money, Christmas money. Monthly expenses are the next thing to add to your spreadsheet. And these would include your mortgage, or your rent, credit card repayments, utility repayments, loan repayments, anything else that comes up every month. Yearly expenses might be a bit of a challenge to include, but it's a good idea to do it. It helps you avoid the stress of coming up with the money when they come due each year. So this will mean you'll need to create a spreadsheet for each month of the entire year. So you can include these types of expenses. But it's easy to do. It's just one page per month. 
Now, yearly expenses could be your car insurance and registration, council rates, Chiefscates Club um, dues, any other membership fees, that sort of thing. I have to say, though, if you're enjoying this video, pop down there and give us a thumbs up. That really, really helps us. Next on your spending plan or budget would be extras. Now, extras are sort of hard to budget for which is why we really need to plan on them each month. Extras are things like maintenance for your vehicle or yearly checkups with your doctor. But there are times when exceptional expense pops up. So planning ahead helps. It might be extra doctor visits or you know, extra maintenance on your car. Last thing's holidays. Planning a holiday is hard to do, but when you do your budget right, you'll be able to include this in your month-to-month -month budget. Planning and budgeting for a holiday means you can take one and you don't have to worry about the cost. You don't have to worry about finding the money. You just need to plan it, book it and go because it is paid for. You've planned for it and included it in your budget. Now, these are just very broad, basic suggestions for a new budgeter. And once you get your new budget down so it's a habit, you can create a much more detailed spending plan if you want to. Detailed spending plans, really good because you know exactly where your money is going and how much you can put to a payment push or to eliminate um, debt or your emergency fund or how much you can put in regular savings. It's a good idea once you've been budgeting for a while to go into more detail. Now, creating a household spending plan helps you spend your money wisely and you won't forget a thing and get caught out with unbudgeted expenses. It's nearly impossible to remember everything you need to pay each month. So creating a plan with all of your expenses and all the extra things you want is going to help you maintain your budget so you can make everything happen easily. You'll have the ability to see the big picture, which will help you to see what you can do to increase your income and lower your expenses so you have more money in your bank account at the end of the month. Yes, good idea. Now, before I go, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment. I read them all or ask a question. I do my best to answer all your questions, but if you could please put it in all caps so it stands out, that will really help me find it. And I won't be offended. I'll know you're not shouting at me. I'll recognize it for a question. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me, then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel to be recognized more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone.